This reminder is brought to you by Super Tom. Remember to hop on Mihoyo Lab and claim your daily rewards of 3 KFC chicken wings today. It's absolutely worth it because these are the juiciest wings we got from Timmy. What's up everyone, Super Tom here and today's hot news we are covering. Number 1, full details on the Geo Bishop event that is coming tomorrow. Number 2, I will be going through the new patch 1.4 death notes. And number 3, we've got news on a hangout event for the 4 star characters which have got my attention the moment I opened my phone this morning. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So, the Geo Bishop event is coming out at 4 a.m. tomorrow, and I will quickly go over it so that you guys are clear on everything about this once it comes out. During the event, Catherine will be releasing 8 investigation expeditions of different tier. There will be 1S rank, 2A rank, and 5B rank for every day. And you have the option to choose up to 4 of them. The amount of time required to complete these expeditions is going to be different for each expedition rank. So considering you are choosing 1S rank, 2A rank and 1B rank, you will earn up to 60 gems a day. Time start by 7 days period of the event that earns you 420 primo gems. For each expedition, you will dispatch at least 2 of your characters. The reason being there are 2 recommended elements required. Additionally, you can enlist one character that belongs to a friend or support as this will increase the chance of obtaining rewards. If you don't have any friends, however, well, then what I'm guessing is that you can dispatch four characters on your team and that will also increase the chance of bonus rewards. Remember, you can't dispatch characters who are currently mining ores to hunt for the Geo Bishop, so just keep that in mind. Oh, poor Amber, she'll probably get left behind to do all the mining now. And there's also on the hunt quest where you can go, solve the puzzle, and hunt down the Geo Bishop themselves. Probably like the weekly investigation we've been doing, but now I just the Geo Bishop. So once you complete that, you will get additional rewards. We're only seeing the experience book as of now, but there might also be Primo Jam at some point, hopefully. Okay, next, we take a look at some of the upcoming changes in patch 1.4 that the dev have spent their time to answer us. And I think some of these changes are super valuable which will for sure help many players out a ton, like these examples. Number 1. What's the current maximum adventure rank? Oh, so after you've speedrun at least over 1 million adventure rank experience, which is roughly in 1 year's time, or you can spend money to get there faster, you will hit adventure rank 60, which we've already showed you in the game. From that point, extra adventure rank experience is turned into Mora. Number 2. I have condensed resin in my inventory, but the game still tell me that I have insufficient resins. Can you help me remove that so I don't have to click an extra button every single time? 100% sure, you are correct about that. We will update this in the following patch. Number 3. Can you improve the weapon upgrade system again? It's still taking me almost 20 minutes to get my weapon to level 40. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, so what the f are the auto added weapon used for? Plus, you can just save up tons of enchanted ore to spam them. I mean, these questions are not to say that they aren't adding any value, but the amount of value being added is like this big. What about the more concerning question that the players have in their list, like account security, for example, like having two factor authentication to protect your account? Many players have had their account hacked, including my favorite playthrough YouTuber, Mythimoo. Or like Enviosity the other day also had issue with his account. These we're talking about are large figures who were at risk, not to mention smaller players who may have grinded so much just to get hacked on later on. Resins and meaningful repeatable endgame content have been asked a lot as well and yet is still being ignored. These are what keeping the long time players stick with the game while waiting for the amazing feature regions. There are some other questions that Dev have answered as well but I won't go through them all here otherwise this video is going to take forever. So I'll post a link in the description for you guys to check out. Now let's get to today's main stuff which is the new information on the hangout event with 4 star characters. 
So this I got from Genshin Intel. Thank you so much to him. And he says that there will be new four four star character that have their star request in the upcoming patches now we don't know if it's going to be patch 1.4 or later than that but this time it will be as a hangout event and how it works is that instead of just being like a normal story playthrough they will include plot branches which will have multiple endings wow that's really interesting is kissing kaya an option Haha, <laughs> somebody have gotten ahead of themselves here. This has got over a thousand likes too, so it seems that Kaya is super popular. Maybe next time, do you look? And what's even more interesting is that these events will now be repeatable unlike last time where we get to play once and the character just disappears forever. So you can attempt multiple times for different endings. Nice. This system have already reminded me a bit about the friendship system from the reddit post I share on the other day in this video. Obviously it's not exactly that system but in a sense we now have more content revolving around playable characters so that is really good. As of now we don't know which 4 star character there will be. The 4 star that haven't got a quest are Barbara, Bennett, Diona, Noelle of Mondstadt and Chong Yun as well as Sinja of Liwa. If this were to be coming out in patch 1.4 which also have the Windbloom festival in Mondstadt as predicted, I'm guessing this will fall down to the 4 star characters of Mondstadt. Wow, speaking of hangout event and Bennett, is it going to be us hanging out with a 4 star character or oh, we're yeah. seeing Bennett hanging out with Barbara, Fischl and Noelle at the same time? Whoever said Bennett has worse luck? Ah, I think again, I'm sure he has more luck than most of us. So, hope you enjoyed this edit everyone, as always, if you stick with me to this part of the video, I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I post daily content bringing you the latest guides, news and updates on Genshin Impact. With that, this is Tom wishing everyone a super day.